Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Why today a little bit belated video because Karina's challenges did come out a while ago and I did promise you a guide for every single one of them but I was one short. I was about to record the Star Lord's Dance Off guide which is Star Lord goes to Labyrinth by himself as a four star but then a whirlwind of stuff happened and then there was a crazy grinding spree which I'm actually still in the middle of and uh better late than never anyways it's time we talk about this run with star lord so first off uh let's go ahead and take a look at what are our path options again most of the people that i have seen go the outside path do end up spending once again significantly more revives that i ended up spending i believe i did it in 58 or 59 revives which does sound a lot and which is a fair chunk of revives and which was the most amount of revives for every single individual challenge so this is technically the most revive hungry run at least for me but still it was significantly less that i have seen at the very least pretty much anybody else do or hear uh, anybody else do so i'm gonna assume that i did something right so I started off once again on this uh, short path with Star-Lord, Thor Jane Foster, Daredevil Hell's Kitchen, Venom Pool, Doctor Strange, who is kind of buggish, Kamal Khan, Rocket, and uh, then Maestro. Now the first two fights, fairly straightforward, nothing too much to stress about there. Uh, the two trickier fights would be Daredevil Hell's Kitchen, because he has the new animations and it is quite annoying. He doesn't have the new ability kit, but the new um, animations mean that you're going to be wasting a lot of time by him throwing his level 1s, and ideally you want to push him to level 2s. Now that being said, Venompool by far was the biggest nightmare, RNG Fiesta, and RNG in this fight is never in your favor. That is one fight that you need to grit your teeth and just suffer through. And other than that, the rest of the fights are pretty much fine and relatively quick. It is definitely the path that I recommend doing if you want to save the resources. However, easy path is called easy for a reason. And uh, objectively speaking, going all the way on the outside, doing these 16, 17, whatever the amount of fights there are with Red Hulk, Elman Logan, Electra, Miss Marvel. It probably will take less out of you as a player, but it will definitely be more costly. I think. Well, that's what I have seen anyways. But uh, again, that would be longer, it would be more expensive, but it wouldn't be maybe as taxing, as frustrating that that Venom Pool fight would be. But my personal recommendation still is definitely the short path. Now, that being said, uh, the masteries, you definitely, 100%, absolutely, categorically do not want to run Swiss and masteries. It is just not worth it, especially with champions such as Star Lord. Because with Starlord, the most important thing is to crit as often as possible. And these baseline artificial attack increases are borderline irrelevant. Because with all of the attack bonuses that you get from Suicide Masteries on Starlord, it just means that you start with a slightly higher combo. So what do I mean? Suicide Masteries give Starlord 60% attack increase. However, if your 4-star star Starlord is max sig, which I assume he will be, then you need to know that 4-star star, star Lord gains 5% attack increase per hit on his combo. That means that entire huge attack benefit gets immediately uh, equalized at 12 hit count. So basically, if I am not running suicides, but I get to 12 hits on my combo meter, I have the same attack as you do when you are running suicides. And then on top of that, obviously, the most important thing is to play fast, not lose your combo and get as many hits in as in the fight as possible. And the further you go, the more that suicide attack increase is irrelevant and can be upstaged by landing one hit at the 200 combo mark than having suicide masteries on. So yeah, it really does not help him all that much. The only thing it will make sure is that you end up using a lot more health potions and potentially revives as well. So definitely do not run Suicide Masteries. However, make sure that you do everything you possibly can to crit as often as possible. That is by far the most important thing. So do max out your dexterity. Do max out your lesser precision, your precision. Things like that are more important than a tiny bit of extra attack. And keep in mind, you don't really need many points in defense for these as well. My personal recommendation is to either run only 6 or 10 points in defense, maxing out uh, block proficiency and perfect block if you want to get access to a couple more parries per fight, which can be very helpful in some of these fights. 
But uh, other than that, you pretty much should solely focus on offensive masteries and maxing out parry. Now that we have discussed that, what is the strategy? Well, strategy is fairly simple because you don't really have anything to do with team building. You just put in your Star Lord, have offensive mastery setup, boost up, take the short path, and uh, try to get the job done. As I mentioned before, this run uh, took me about four and a half hours, I believe, uh, or close to that, and uh, 59 revives, which was the costliest run. Couple of side notes on these fights. As I said, most of these are fairly self-explanatory. Just don't hit the block of Torja and Foster. Don't get carried away holding block against Daredevil Hell's Kitchen, even though you can parry and block now and then. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Against Venompool and... Uh, Maestro, the regen can be a problem. Against Venompool, he has two different types of regions. One region gives him like one health per tick, which you can absolutely ignore and you should ignore. The second one gives him like 20 or 1000 per tick or something like that, in which case <clears throat> most often than not it would be better to quit out because it gives him about 5% increase in health <clears throat> per each time he triggers it. Now you can do more than 5% damage in a go but it is a very very risky place to be in so my personal recommendation is whenever you see that regen quit out on top of that he does trigger unstoppable buff which can completely mess you up and he also has a buff that kind of turns him into electro of sorts in which case you just want to slow down and be very careful when he gets that one the rest of the buffs are relatively harmless as i said dr strange has hardly any of his abilities so that is not a hard fight kamal khan and rocket raccoon very very simple fights and maestro once again is a tech champion buff active on him which can let him regenerate and as soon as he does just quit out the fight that's it as soon as he triggers regen with four star star lord you will not be able to out damage it just quit out the fight that's it and uh, he also has access to Unstoppable, which can mess you up. He has access to power gains and a few other things. But for most part, it's just the region that is the deal breaker. Now, if you do not follow my personal recommendation and want to take it easy on yourself as possible, going all the way out on the outside path, please note that the Unstoppable Colossus is going to be an absolute nightmare fuel because you will have to pause hitting him a lot and you can't be very aggressive in this fight. And with the short and range timer, you'll probably end up using like 10 plus revives on this fight alone as well, or close to that. Probably close to that. Maybe not quite as many because I didn't do it recently, but it's definitely a very revive hungry fight. Then you can either pick uh, going upwards and going to Colossus. My personal recommendation is to go to Colossus because that is a fairly straightforward fight. Falcon's not too bad. Heal up on that fight and you're going to be good because you're going to be taking some block damage. Gamora, not too bad. Magic, if you are taking magic with Star Lord, it is going to be a bit of a pain. What you want to do is max out your Pacify and Petrify Masteries, one of them that lowers opponents' ability triggers while they are stunned, and try and use and abuse that one, but it is not going to be overly great time. War Machine, once again, make sure you heal up, just like with Magic and Falcon. These three fights you definitely need heal up, probably the uh, Unstoppable Colossus as well. So here are the four fights that you want to heal up. And the War Machine, yeah, it's going to be quite a bunch of block damage. Then we have Ant-Man, possibly the worst fight here, because uh, he's going to be glancing everything, especially in second and rage timer, and this is going to be a very revive-hungry fight as well. And uh, other than that, Venom can be somewhat tricky, not too bad, and that would be the worst of it. But yeah, I'd rather prefer dealing with Venom pool once at 3.3 mil health than dealing with uh, Unstoppable Colossus, Magic, War Machine, Ant-Man. Yeah, no thanks. And uh, that is about it. Once again, if you do have any more questions, please do let me know. Suspect pretty much everybody is going to be leaving this particular challenge to the last, as it is the more BSE one and more revive hungry. I must say though that as I was actually doing it, because I was one of those people who did Labyrinth originally with the unranked Star Lord, pretty much, uh, it it did not feel nowhere near as bad as Collector. Collector fight just felt like I'm standing in front of slot machine and throwing tokens in it. This one I was actually given the chance to have a fight. Uh, except when Venom Pool said no to that. But in general, uh, it wasn't... Well, it was fairly tricky. But yeah, it didn't feel as bad as uh, Collector one did. 
And uh, yeah, it took me about five hours to get the short path done. If you do the long one, it's probably going to be slightly longer than that. But uh, hey, that is it for now. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information.